I'm going to hell. What is going on, you guys? It's Extreme here, back again with another episode of my Road to Max Prestige, a series I do Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're new around here and you don't know what this series is about, I talk about all kinds of shit. I give my thoughts and opinions on current events in gaming and in the world. I also like to tear stories, as I'm getting tongue-tied here, I like to tell stories from my life, share things I've gone through, experiences, stuff of that sort. And the next week, well, in the next four days, I'm going to be sharing quite a few different stories. But I also want to talk about recent events. As many of you may already know, it was announced late last week that Black Ops 3 will in fact be the next Call of Duty coming forward developed by Treyarch. Personally, I'm actually really happy that Black Ops 3 has been announced and people can stop speculating on that. But of course, the rumor mills have already gone nuts with random and rampant speculation as to what the game is going to be about. Personally, I don't care what the game is about. It's pretty clear that it is going to be a futuristic shooter, which some of you might not be happy about. I know a lot of you guys really wanted a World at War S game. I don't. I didn't. And I really am glad that they're not giving you that game. And it's not me be like, aha, fuck you guys. It's me saying, look, I've played so many World War One, World War Two shooters. I'm bored of it, man. I mean, yes, they're nice to play. And if they do it, if they do Black Ops 3 the way they did Black Ops 2, and that you will have elements of going back in time, and you'll play in that era, I'm fine with that. But to play an entire game in that era, shoot me in the face now, please. No, I don't want that. No. No. No, no. No, 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 no. So... Yeah, Black Ops 3 has been announced. It will be a futuristic shooter. And there is speculation if you're going to have an exosuit or cybernetic enhancements or whatever. Until anything is officially announced as far as what is in the game, I'm just going to leave the speculation and the rumors over here. I would like to give you guys very briefly my wish list for Black Ops 3. Number one, I want the zombie experience that they were trying to offer in Black Ops 2 just better you know I mean I enjoyed elements of Black Ops 2 zombies I also enjoyed elements of extinction I'd love to see those type of things mixed together and given you as one solid offering that would be fucking awesome do I see it happening no would it be nice yes we'll see what happens I would also love to see the create a class feature from the campaign in Black Ops 2 brought back. That was something I thoroughly enjoyed and was really disappointed that was not in Advanced Warfare or um, fucking what was the other one? Ghost. So I'd love to see that feature come back. That was something I really did like about Black Ops 2. Um, I was going to do a series for Advanced Warfare if that feature had been there. Feature wasn't there. So I didn't do it. Just saying. Hint, hint. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't. I highly doubt Treyarch watches my videos, and if they do, I'll be shocked. But um, I, I do hope that feature is there. It was something I thoroughly enjoyed. But ultimately, it was the the whole choice thing that was introduced in Black Ops Two that didn't really get exploited or explored more by Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward with Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. So I'm really, really hoping that Treyarch goes back that route. That was something I did enjoy and was looking forward to with the, the last two games that we got. So I'm hoping that that's something they bring back as well. And I, I'm, I'm just hoping that the game is good, ultimately, you know. Treyarch does do very good Call of Duties. Sadly, however, I also know that Treyarch has been on this big competitive binge since Black Ops 2. So I'm very, very hopeful that they don't force feed 
competitive gaming like they did with Black Ops 2 with regards to Black Ops 3. I just hope that they step back from that competitive ledge and say, hey, you know what? We understand you guys don't want this. We're going to kind of take it back a bit. It's going to be there if you want it, but we're not going to force feed it down your throats in public matches. If they do that, I will be happy. I will be content. I will be thrilled. Now I know I'm not going to get it. Just saying. Anyways, there was another thing that happened in the last week that I want to talk to you guys about, as I'm sure some of you have heard about it, and that is the announcement from YouTube that they are going to start incorporating a subscription-based system into YouTube here in the next few months. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, my channel, as of this recording and to the best of my knowledge, is not on the, the list of channels it's going to be force fed a subscription based setup um this is something that you're going to see with people like philip defranco uh epic mealtime uh the dominic show what else there's there's tons of other youtube channels like that out there jenna marbles you know those are the channels that m are more than likely going to get i guess sandwiched in with this subscription type thing the way it sounds right now Financially, it favors YouTube. It does not favor the content creator. And that is something that if and when I ever did a, another channel where I wasn't using gaming as a background and I could truly profit from all my efforts, personally, I'd be pissed at this subscription model. This, this subscription model. I think it's stupid the way it's set up now. And if it is something they do uh, just the way it's set up does not sound good if they ran it more the way twitch runs their subscription thing then maybe it could be successful for the content creator maybe it would be worth it but it really all depends on how YouTube goes this route if they do in fact actually go 100% with that idea. Right now, it's kind of sort of something they're doing or leaning toward. They're probably gonna do a trial run of it to see how it, how it goes. But ultimately, like I said, the way it sounds right now, it doesn't favor any of the content creators. It only favors YouTube. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. I will be back tomorrow with another one. And I got a story for you guys. Not the kind you think. Until next time, adios. I love the video games I play. Call of Duty, Borderlands, Destiny, hell, even fucking Minecraft. Although I'm not going to be going back and doing a Minecraft series. Uh-uh. Hell no. I tried that once before. It failed miserably. And to be honest with you, I like having a game that's for my own personal enjoyment, not something I have to play or that, you know, I'm doing a series on. I, I like having that for Minecraft, so I'm going to keep it that way. But I do want to start putting out more, I guess you could say, entertainment-based content. Now, with Road to Max Prestige, the entertainment usually comes from...